Hi, and welcome to another edition of Your Health with Dr. Christie. My name is Dr. Christie Reisinger, and today I'm going to talk with you about the supplement berberine. Berberines really come into the market as a flashy new alternative to really popular weight loss medications like Ozempic, Wegovy, and Manjaro. And in fact, it's it's been it's been dubbed nature's Ozempic because it's supposedly a more natural way to lose weight, but I wanted to just talk with you guys about some of the data that I found and just to kind of give you all some realistic expectations about berberine and some cautions. So berberine's been around for a really long time. It was used in China up to 2000 years ago for gastrointestinal illnesses like diarrhea. And it's a, a yellow powder that's usually put into capsules and sold as a supplement that you take orally. I did some research and I actually found two meta-analyses um, that had a couple hundred patients each and it was really interesting a lot of the a lot of those studies that were used in both meta-analyses were the same so overall they found kind of the same results where weight loss uh, was minimal you know it was about four pounds waist circumference people lost about two inches of their waist circumference and they lost about 0.5 bmi a lot of them were statistic, statistically significant, but honestly, I feel like there's more data for using berberine to lower glucose and to lower cholesterol. So that's kind of an exciting other aspect of this medication that I feel like has a little bit more data. One thing that I would caution people with using berberine is like with any supplement, it's not controlled by the FDA. So I would really try to buy it from a reputable source. Because oftentimes, especially with weight loss supplements, other things are added that you don't know anything about or possibly could be harmful. And no one's really going to know because it's not monitored by the FDA. Another thing is that a lot of these studies used patients that had a BMI greater than 30 and were relatively healthy. Like they didn't have any lung disease. They didn't have any liver disease. They didn't have any heart disease. So I would caution patients using that medication, using the supplement, if they have these conditions, and especially if they're taking a ton of medications, um, especially if they're taking medications like blood thinners or medications like uh, statins or antiarrhythmics, because there's been some question that maybe when you take berberine, those medications, the level that your body has increases. So for example, if you're taking a blood thinner and you take berberine as well, it'll make your blood thinner be more effective. So your blood would be more thin. So um, just some cautions on that. But at the end of the day, 1,000 to 1,500 milligrams of berberine a day, I think could be put in my toolbox for patients that are trying to lose weight. But I would really probably choose a patient or recommend it for patients that were relatively healthy and weren't on a ton of other medications. And especially, I would not recommend it to women that were pregnant or breastfeeding. If you've used berberine, I'd love to hear your comments. So comment below. And as always, thanks for joining me.